Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am shopping at Home Goods. It's a beautiful day to be out and about, so come shop with me. I just finished up and shared my patio makeover and I have been shopping for all things outdoor. There was so much to see and I wanted to share it all with you and hopefully give you more ideas for your patio decorating. I thought this patio set was divine. Look at all the details. I love that coral color with the light wood and getting all these pieces for a thousand dollars I thought was a steal. Here's another one with a similar style. This one was navy blue. I love the color of the stain on the legs. I did not care for the tabletop and the color of the seat cushions. It seemed a little bit off. This was also a thousand dollars. If this is your first time here, my name is Trisha and on this channel I share decorating videos, I do lots of shopping and thrifting and also flipping furniture. If that's something you enjoy, do consider subscribing, it is lovely to have you here. And for you that have been watching for a while, you know I thrift most of my furniture and decor. But when designing my back patio, I considered some sort of bistro style seating. So I was taking a look around at what they had. And if you missed seeing that makeover, be sure to catch up with it after watching this video. I'll put a link in the description below. Here I was looking at single chairs and that brings me to the point of thrifting. Sometimes you find an individual item that works for you. Not always you'll find a complete set. For example, if you found a nice quality table and you need some chairs, a great idea will be to pick up chairs here that you like. You saved a lot of money and you get a set that you chose that you've put together and it's unique and special. I love how these are referred to as chat sets. I thought that's such a perfect name. Home Goods is really the best place for a variety of planters, plants, and just outdoor decorative items. These pots were so beautiful. Look at that pattern on there. I don't know how to describe it. It was just so gorgeous. I love how they integrated the red on the top of the bigger one, but still have the same design on the bottom. The smallest one was $40 and there were so many different colors and combinations of patterns. If you love a little color in your patio or your garden, this is a great place to go. You could bring color in with things like this or with flowers and foliage. I absolutely love these. Love the clay color and the unique shape. There were quite a few of handmade vessels which are so trendy right now. The prices went from $30-$40 upwards. I think unexpected decor objects out in your patio or garden can really elevate the look of the entire space. There were some things here I weren't sure what they were, like this, not sure what this was exactly for, it was a unique shape. Comment below if you know what these things are. I noticed a lot of animal sculptures in different sizes and materials. I thought that was so interesting because this is what I see a lot in thrifting vintage. 
Of course, everything comes around eventually. This birch ray was my favorite find of the day. And it was so sad it was broken. I could not find another one and they would not sell it to me because anything that had a sharp edge, they take it off the shelves. They don't sell it to you, even at a discount. So I missed out on this. I was at another store later on that week, but I couldn't find another one. So that was disappointing. I really like this. Shout out to one of my viewers here on YouTube. Andrea shared with me that these are in fact pomegranate statues or sculptures. I had no idea what they were and she also shared that they are being sold on Wayfair for $42. I paid $7 for that larger one. We have so many birds all around us. I would love to do a birdhouse or some sort of bird feeding situation. I was tempted to pick these up, but I left it because I do want to give it a little more thought. I think that's going to be a DIY project sometime in the future. Of course, four stems, trees, and foliage are very popular if you don't have a green thumb. These were so pretty. I think this can really spruce up your decor. I'm not sure how well these hold up under direct sunlight. I would suggest putting it in an area that does not get direct sun hitting it, and it should last a lot longer so that you get your money's worth. I think Home Goods has really stepped up their game when it comes to florals. These were so realistic. Look at the stems of these flowers. Look at how chunky they look and mossy. It was so realistic. Really, really amazing. Another great way to brighten up and add color to the outdoors is with dinnerware, especially if you're having a party. These melamine glasses, bowls, plates were so beautiful. I mean, look at these serving bowls. There were four of them for $25. And who will not love hand-painted daisies? Having items like this in a neutral color such as black can be so versatile. You can use it any time of year just by switching up the patterns and colors of disposable napkins and utensils. Like red, white and blue for 4th of July and Memorial Day and then later in the fall use some warmer colors.
We don't do very much outdoor dining, the weather doesn't permit it, and it also just doesn't fit into our personal lifestyle, but I still drool over all the linens and things. It's so much fun setting up a tablescape for an event or a party. I especially loved these neutral colored cotton and linen tablecloths. I love Turkish towels and these did not disappoint. They're really large, super absorbent, and I love all the neutral color palettes. I spent some time browsing outdoor seats and cushions and then made my way over to the clearance section. I never leave home goods without checking out this aisle. I did get a couple bundles of these candles. They were so pretty. I couldn't find anything wrong with this one. One of the white ones was broken, but I purchased it anyway because I don't mind lighting them at different heights. Was at home again beside the stream Then you walked past me And you saw me and smiled I will never forget the first time When I saw you I thought I lost my mind Is it possible for us? 